Now let's look at a class practice. We have the marks of Peter, Candy, and Jamie. The test mark, midterm exam, and final exam. And look that we are given the weights. That each test or exam has a different weights. For example, the test has a weight of two, midterm exam, three, and final exam, five. And now we have to find the overall result in language of each person in this second term. And can we can do or find the weighted mean of Peter first. Weighted mean of Peter. And then we multiply his marks by the corresponding weights. For example, test mark is 50. Multiply this by 2. And uh, midterm exam, 60. Multiply by 3. And then plus final exam mark, 80. Multiply by 5. And then we divided this by the sum of all the weights. And using our calculator, we find the weighted mean is 68. And uh, similarly, the weighted mean of candy will be 60 times 2 plus 70 times 3 plus 60 times 5. Again, divided by 10. We have 63. And finally, the weighted mean of Jamie, we have 70, 50, 70 times 2, and then 50 times 3 plus 70 times 5. Divided this by 10, we have 64. But at this place, we can now find the correct answer to this problem. We have to do a little bit more because uh, we know that the weighted mean of Peter is the highest. So can we explain this effect or phenomenon? Why Peter has the highest weighted mean? And uh, since we can check this out, the exam mark, the final exam, has the greatest weight of 5. So we can see that Peter has the highest mark, 80 marks. He scored the highest mark in the final exam. So since this part accounts for a greater weight of the final mark of the weighted mean, so his mark, Peter's weighted mean, will be greater than that of Candy and Jamie because they score lower marks in the final exam. And uh, at the same time, uh, we can also see that Peter actually scored very low mark in the test, uh, 50 marks. But however, since the test, the weight of the test is just two, uh, which is much smaller than that of the final exam, five, uh, which is much smaller than five. So the loss of Peter's mark in weight mean in test is much less because uh, the weight is smaller. Okay, let's